These are beds, but not as we know them. Far from being private, intimate spaces, these magnificent Baroque beds were the seat of royal power. They were the king's most lavish, expensive objects, and they were from where he ruled the kingdom. When Charles II returned from exile to claim the English throne, he brought with him French fashions of the levee and the couche, elaborate rituals when courtiers woke, washed and dressed the king in the morning and put him to bed at night. But only the specially invited were allowed within the gilded gates of the bedroom. The key ambition of all courtiers was to gain access to the state bedchamber. Even the noblest of gentlemen wanted to gain a position as a servant of the bedchamber, as this gave them access to the king and access to power. Their role was to perform intimate rituals for the monarch, and this involved emptying the chamber pot. Everyday life events became grand public performances. Heirs were born, marriages consummated, mistresses wooed, and monarchs died, all before an audience of the great and the good. And these events had hugely significant consequences. When Mary of Modena gave birth in this bed, there were over 70 witnesses in the room, an event which led to the flight of her father, James II, and the Glorious Revolution. Queen Anne probably commissioned this great state bed as her deathbed, but sadly died before it was completed. Childless after 17 pregnancies, this was the end of the line for the Stuart dynasty. This exhibition brings to life the bizarre world of the court, where you can walk in the footsteps of courtiers of the Baroque Palace, at the centre of which is the world's largest and rarest collection of royal state beds.